Next thing I'll do is go to the home I have downloaded, the Ultimate Linux Mint 18 XFCE Master, which is actually just a bunch of scripts, uh, things that I like, things that I don't want, uh, are not included, simple as that. So we made uh, in the meantime a new version, version 4.8.5 version 1 uh, shell, so a shell script, a script that runs things. I'm gonna install, um, I'm gonna do something else now. I am, I want to be able, if I change things and stuff, to share it with you guys. So Git is, or GitHub is a way to work together on the same uh, project. Since now I'm alone on this project, uh, it's, it's quite easy. It's actually kind of cloud or Dropbox or a thing like that. So I'm, I really want to be able to push my new file. This is a new file that's not online yet. I want to push it and share it with you guys. But that is not possible if you download it. So in one of the previous movies, we went to the net and we said, okay, give me just a GitHub from Eric Dubois. And we found repositories and there are 52 repositories now and XFCE is Ultimate Linux Mint 18 XFCE. And what we did was click here. So now I'm gonna show you something else. We copy this code here and we're gonna get rid of those so we don't make any mistakes later. I am gonna go to yes here, gonna make a new folder. That's just the way how I work and I'm naming it data. And in this data folder, I'm gonna open a terminal. I'm gonna install the, the, the core element git. sudo apt install git. Okay, first thing, yes. Oh God, I thought something wrong there, but no problem. It's still in the, in the trash can. So git clone, git clone me anything. And then paste what? git clone that address. If I press enter, watch in the back what happens. It's going to get everything from GitHub and it's going to put it there. Now the fun stuff is if you do it like this, for me, not for you maybe as fewer, but it's also interesting to see the possibilities. So maybe you'll use it in the future. I can open in a terminal and I can push anything new back on the net. But first, I really need to set my GitHub. So open in terminal. I'm gonna set GitHub. This is actually also documented in a tutorial I've made, GitHub tutorial on ericdubois.de. But quickly, let's do this. And then you can say you just gonna push it again. Where is the code? Here, this little program is some lines of code. Write your comments, commit comments. Uh, a tutorial or something and then nothing okay I'm gonna put in my login and my password probably wrong I think I put it wrong voila and everything will be pushed on there doesn't matter I have to go anyway to my trash can what did I forget to do I really need this one of course this is something I just made I don't want don't want to get rid of that. I want to have it here. Paste, 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 here's paste. Well, so this one is actually an old one already. So this can go, this can go. What we need is the 485 version one. All right, let's try it again and do a better job at the password. Yeah, done. So we go here, we reload. What do we see? Nothing? Sure. Here is my update to the last stable for version 485 and the other ones are gone. I've deleted them here. I've pushed them there. So they're deleted as well here. So that's setting up our GitHub for the next uh, movies and we'll conclude the movie here.